Hey everybody, Forrest here. Today I wanna to show you how quickly and easily Lightroom users can set up a professional photography website using Adobe Portfolio. Let's dive in. So the first thing that we're gonna to wanna to do inside of Lightroom is set up albums for the different galleries we wanna have on our website. So I've set up three here. I have an Alaska album, I have an astrophotography album, and I have a Hawaii album. Additionally, we're gonna to wanna to arrange our pictures inside of our album the same way we want them arranged when they're on our website. And finally, we wanna make sure that our album titles are equal to the names that we want for our galleries on Adobe Portfolio. Now, all of this is changeable, but it saves a little bit of time to do it here in Lightroom room versus uploading to portfolio and doing it there. Additionally, I recommend that you write a short bio about yourself and come up with a nice headshot or BTS shot of you shooting that we can use on your about page. So very simple, a bunch of albums with images in them and arranged named properly, a bio about yourself and a headshot or BTS shot of you shooting. From here, we're gonna to go to portfolio.adobe.com and sign in with the same Adobe account we use when signing into Lightroom. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do once we get to portfolio.adobe.com is choose the template or theme that we wanna use for our website. Now you can very easily change this after the fact. So if you end up starting with a theme and you don't like the one you chose, you can switch it. I played with a few, this ended up being my favorite. So I'm gonna go ahead and select use this theme. And once we get in here, there's a couple things I recommend change at the root level that will trickle down through the rest of our website. I'm gonna to go to settings up here in the upper left and I wanna point a couple things out. The first is your domain name. Your domain name is the URL that someone types in to get to your website. And you'll notice that by default, Adobe has given us a .myportfolio.com URL. In this case, Forest fb81.myportfolio.com. But I wanna also point out that if you want just a .com, you can connect a domain that you already own or purchase a new domain and connect it to your website. So you're not stuck with a .myportfolio.com forever. Additionally, I highly recommend if you're actually gonna build a website, go into the search optimization section and the meta tag section and set up your SEO stuff. That's gonna help you rank better on Google search results and it's gonna have help more people find your website. Finally, I do wanna point out that there is an analytics section in here as well, which you could connect with Google Analytics to give you more insight into who's viewing your website. I'm actually gonna leave most of this alone and click done. And then I'm gonna head under this site wide section and I'm gonna go to background colors and font. Now inside of here, I'm gonna leave most of this the default because I chose this template because I like it, but I am gonna change the fonts. I'm gonna go ahead and add a font. And one font that I really like is Poppins. I'm gonna go ahead and search for that. You can see it found it, it is a Google font. I'm gonna select it, I'm gonna add it, and then I'm going to click done. And I'm gonna come into my fonts and now I will see Poppins in that list and I can go ahead and select it there. And now Poppins will be used throughout my website because we changed it in the site-wide settings. So now I'm gonna go ahead and go back and now Poppins is being used. So now I wanna actually get some of our images into our website so we can see how this is gonna to start to look. And the easiest way I've found to do this is go to pages, and then I'm gonna click this blue plus sign over here on the left, and I'm gonna select Lightroom album. So this is gonna ask me which album I'd like to bring in first. This is simply a list of my albums and folders on the web version of Lightroom. I'm gonna to go to Adobe Portfolio and I'm gonna start with my astrophotography album. I'm gonna go ahead and click Import Selected. And this is actually gonna connect from Lightroom into Adobe Portfolio and sync my images here with my website. We can see here it pulled the astrophotography title from my Lightroom album and it has automatically brought the pictures into Adobe portfolio. Now I wanna do this a couple more times. I'm gonna go back to pages, hit the plus sign, go to Lightroom album, and this time I'm gonna bring in my Alaska. Go ahead and click import. Here again, we're gonna get a new page. It's gonna be called Alaska, and we're gonna get the images auto-populating. And finally, I'm gonna do it one more time. Pages, add page, Lightroom album, and I'm gonna add in Hawaii. So I hope I'm not alone in being super excited about how easy this is to integrate, but I wanna show you what it actually did. I'm gonna come down to the lower left and click this preview button, and this is gonna let us preview our website. And if I click on work, that's gonna take me to my homepage where I can see, hi, I'm Forrest Chaputa Santange. Here are the different albums that I've created. If I click on one of them, it's gonna take me in and it's gonna show my images. So legitimately within a matter of minutes, we've taken completed edited photos from Lightroom and published them to 
a website. Now at the bottom here, I'm gonna click back to edit. That'll take us back to the editing section. The next thing I wanna do is go ahead and create an about page so viewers can learn a little bit more about who the photographer is. To do this, I'm gonna to go to pages again. We're gonna to go to the plus sign and I'm gonna create a new page. I'm gonna call it about me and the destination I'm gonna put at the navigation level. This means a top level page that will be an option in the navigation menu. I'm gonna go ahead and click create and that's gonna make me a new blank page. Now in here, I'm gonna start with an image and I'm gonna start with my headshot. Now don't be alarmed, this is gonna come in very large. You can see there's my face, huge on the screen. We're gonna fix that in a second. And the way we're gonna fix it is by adding my bio text to this page as well. So I'm gonna to go to my actual website, Everlight Education. I'm gonna grab my bio here and copy it you would copy it from wherever you've written it. I'm gonna go back to portfolio. I'm gonna click this plus sign over to the right side of my picture, and I'm gonna add a text box. This is gonna to switch to two column view where we've got the photo on the left and the text on the right. And in here, I'm gonna say click where it says click to enter text. I'm gonna paste, and then that put my text in. I don't like a couple things about that. I'm gonna select that text. I'm gonna make it black like that and then I'm going to left justify it. So already, I think we've made a huge improvement, right? Things are looking, starting to look good, but my image is still too big. So I'm gonna click this little three lines button, I'm gonna drag over, and that's gonna give my bio more space and my image less space. Now additionally, I find the spacing between my picture and my bio a little bit too tight. So I'm gonna click on the image, I'm gonna go to image, width alignment and margins, and I'm simply gonna reduce the amount of space that the image takes up in the container that we've given it. So just giving a little bit more breathing room around the outside of the picture. I think that looks great. I'm gonna go back and now we have about me, work and contact. Now I don't like the order of this navigation bar, so I'm gonna go to pages and I'm simply gonna put about me underneath my work, but before contact. And now that order will be in the navigation bar. Start with work, then about me, then contact page. All right, so this is starting to look really good. The last thing I wanna show you is how we can push future updates to our portfolio website. To show you this, I'm gonna go into my Lightroom and I'm very simply just gonna take one of these pictures that I don't think is as good and I'm gonna remove it from the album that I've chose to sync. So there it is, it's pulled out of the album. Now it will not be pulled out of your website by default. What you'll need to do is go to pages. In this case, this was my Hawaii album. I'm gonna select the little gear next to Hawaii and I'm gonna say reset from Lightroom. This is gonna basically tell Adobe Portfolio to look look back at Lightroom and see what has changed. So if I click on that box, it's gonna warn us, it's gonna say, note, this will replace your photo grid with a new one imported from Lightroom. I'm gonna go ahead and click reset. It's gonna think for a minute and now that photo should be pulled out of that collection or page. So sure enough, if I go to pages and we go to the Hawaii page, we should see, once the photo grid loads, that that picture has been removed from my grid. And that includes edits too. If you re-edit a picture, you can just pull the changes again, reset from Lightroom, and that'll update everything. So if you're hearing me talk about albums and folders and that whole idea of organization is overwhelming to you, maybe your folders and albums no one should ever look at, check out a link to my Mastering Lightroom Organization class down in the description. That is my complete class that overviews every single organization feature inside of Adobe Photoshop Lightroom. One other thing I wanna show you is the contact page inside of the Adobe Portfolio website. You can see it automatically has a contact form built into it. If someone fills out this form, it will send you an email automatically with the person who filled it out's information. So that's already built in. But I also wanna point out that you can very easily add information. Maybe you want a text box over to the right side. And in here, you could type your phone number, 555, 555-5555 or whatever other information you'd like. So your contact page is very editable, but the form itself already works. You don't have to touch anything in there to get it configured and to make it work properly. Finally, what I recommend we do is go to preview and we preview the entire website. And we're gonna wanna preview it on desktop, we're gonna wanna preview it on tablet view, we're gonna wanna preview it on sideways tablet view, phone view, and sideways phone view. 
Oftentimes there's weird things with websites. Spacing won't quite work. Things will look weird. Uh, we'll go to my about page, make sure that that all loads properly. That looks good. If I go to sideways phone, it looks good. Vertical phone, it looks good. Yeah, everything's looking good here. So from here, I can click on publish. And this is actually gonna make my site live. We can see there it is, Forest FB. 81.myportfolio.com. If I click on this, now this is a live website. We could share this URL with your friends, tell them about your website, and legitimately, we have a professional photography website built that fast. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, let me know down below. I'd love to hear any comments that you have. Drop a like as well. That really helps the channel grow and hit subscribe to stay up to date with future videos. Finally, if you are a Lightroom Classic user and you want to know how to integrate all of this with Lightroom Classic, there is a way to do it. Let me know if that interests you down in the comments and I will add it to my future videos list. Thanks everybody and I'll catch you in the next one.